This week's assignment really starts you down your path on creating a significant learning environment. And it, uh, by reading the book, New Culture of Learning, you're having an opportunity to explore the notion of how a bigger, broader view of learning can bring about a change in learning environments. And that's one of the key goals. And you'll notice that this is the module objective, right? And, you know, the overall course objective is, is looking at how do we identify and incorporate constructivist theories into our into implementing significant learning environments and and <clears throat> the constructivist perspective is key to what we're looking at doing so with respect to this particular assignment i think one of the most important things you want to do when you read the book and you look at the videos please look at the videos and please don't skip this uh, csle video it's very important it addresses a lot of key goals as well as you know tony bates's video addresses some key things that will help you clarify your thinking and so the, the key thing that you're looking at doing with this assignment is really understanding or getting a perspective on how a bigger, broader view of learning or more holistic view of learning really can help you in, in, in setting up that significant learning environment. Now, I've got to qualify something. You're not looking at holistic learning. That's a different approach. We're not talking about that. When I use the term holistic, it's a bigger, broader view. Okay, you're, you're stepping back. You're looking at that big view of learning. So keep that in mind. Um, the key thing that you want to take a look at is that how does this really link to what you're doing? How does this apply to what you're doing? So you're not doing a book review. You're not simply reiterating the ideas from the book. You're taking the ideas, the key points, and you're applying them to what you're doing. Very, very important for you to do that. Don't forget to make a link to your innovation plan so you've got a context and other ideas that will be important to you. So when we take a look at the um, examples, um, I've, I've really identified the first three, four examples here for you. And I'll touch on a couple of key points that we're gonna, are going to be significant. And each of these students did the same thing. So Jessica um, is working in a college setting, and she focused on how looking at the bigger, broader perspective of the learning environment is going to impact her learners uh, in terms of the simulation environment, uh, how working collaboratively together is going to impact people, the e-portfolio use, all the things that are part of that learning environment. And a lot of the ideas um, that she identified in the new culture of learning are ones that she's going to be looking at implementing um, within her perspective, the collaboration, the communication, the real world learning, those types of things I think are extremely important. She addresses some issues and some challenges in terms of a context. She didn't break down the points like some people do, and she just wrote in a very conversational tone. So keep that in mind. Wonderful example of references are in place. Uh, Jerry, uh, not Jerry, uh, Michael also um, has done a wonderful job in pulling together uh, the ideas of, the, of uh, creating a significant learning environment. And he really makes a good connection between the ideas in this book, the uh, collaborative component, the, um, the the notion of shifting from that student-centered uh, or teacher-centered perspective to the student-centered perspective that a significant learning environment will allow, emphasizing the notion of choice, ownership, and voice. Those types of things are extremely important uh, in terms of creating that environment. He's got links to his innovation plan, literature review, all those things. So, you know, there's a direct connection to what he's planning to do. Uh, he's talking about how um, this collaborative opportunity uh, is going to enable him to shift his learner's thinking from, you know, writing or, or doing work that is simply for grace, doing work that's going to impact others, right? So that's that's a significant uh, perspective. Um, and he addresses a lot of the issues that came out of the book. So again, highlights a lot of key things, makes a connection between what he's doing and, and where he's going, references are in place. Um, <clears throat> Jerry also has done a, a key job. Again, different perspective here. Um, he's set things up in, in a way where he sort of identified the key points of the uh, questions that uh, we've addressed, used some quotes directly from the book, and then talks about how he's going to apply that to what he's doing. Again, different perspective, different tone, different writing. But again, the key thing here is it there's a direct connection between what he's doing in his innovation plan and and how the new uh, culture of learning has helped him to think about significant learning environments and how that bigger broader perspective of you know learning environments all, all that comes into play is going to impact what he's planning to do in terms of moving his ideas forward he addresses the challenges very very well the resistance to change students are used to doing what's 
typically happening to them. Um, and, and so um, getting students to, you know, move into the inquiry process is a little bit challenging, um, but he sees it as an opportunity to have the students build their own e-portfolios, which will allow them to unlock a lot of potential right not just in what he's doing but in the whole program um, and he sees how this is going to impact not just his classroom but uh, other uh, other uh, classes in his particular program references are in place um, Kaylee has done a, a really wonderful job as well she's done something unique she's got a, a summary and an intro she's make a con made a connection to the videos made a connection to the book her innovation plan but then she's also gone on to go a step further so her post her blog post becomes sort of an intro she sets the context she talks about what she's planning to do and how this is going to impact and then when she goes into the uh, actual um, uh, perspective she's actually encouraging people to follow along on her thinking process to imagine uh, a different time and, and to see how um, doing something different can have a huge impact um, where you know a teacher shifts from being the primary source of information to today where it's very different where a teacher's role is different you're acting as a facilitator a coach a guide and a mentor right and she talks about how creating and establishing significant learning environments can actually move ideas forward within her school within the district within what she's planning to do she makes a connection to the makerspace esteem being a steam teacher all these wonderful things um, and how this, you know, cultural new, this um, uh, broader perspective of a significant learning environment and a broader perspective on the new culture of learning can help shift the teacher from that coach, sorry, from, from being the dispenser of knowledge and information to the coach and mentor. Um, and so she's done a wonderful job, gone above and beyond what was really asked. But at the same time, this is a wonderful example. So she pulls all her pieces together. She's got her citations and, and references in place. So again, wonderful example of um, really thinking about how creating that bigger, broader perspective and looking at that significant learning environment and all the factors that go into it can have an impact on what she is planning to do. So again, the common denominator with all these examples is that there's a very distinct application of the ideas from the book and different ideas. Each student sort of focused on some different things. Um, there are a great emphasis on the constraints. Some have an emphasis on that collaborative. Some have an emphasis on the environment, what's going on. But each student really applied some of the key ideas that helped them to understand that creating this significant learning environment really is instrumental in making a significant difference in students' lives. So again, have a look at these examples. Um, hopefully this, this video is going to help you clarify your thinking on how creating a significant learning environment is going to help you change you know, the world for your learners and can help you change the world one learner at a time.